Hi everyone, I'm Kara. I'm one of the guides here at Schuster's Farm. This is my friend Harriet the honeybee. She's going to help me teach you a little bit about bees today. We have a book, it's called Busy Buzzy Bee. It talks about how bees are busy all day long. It's written by Karen Wallace and it is a beginning reader book. Busy Bee has work to do. She crawls out of her hive. She spreads her wings. She is looking for a flower. Busy Bee flies over a stream. She flies past an oak tree. She is looking for the field full of wildflowers. Busy Bee lands on a flower. Each flower holds sweet drops of nectar. Bees make nectar into honey. Nectar and honey are food for the bees. Busy Bee laps up the nectar with her long, narrow tongue to take back to the hive. Bees have a long tongue that comes out and it's just like a straw and they use it to suck up the nectar. It's called the proboscis. Each flower holds grains of pollen. Flower pollen is food for bees too. The pollen sticks to Busy Bee's furry body. Did you know that? Bees are actually furry. She brings it back to the hive on her two back legs. And on her back legs, she has these things called pollen baskets. That's where she carries the pollen. Busy Bee is a worker bee. Inside the hive, there are thousands just like her. All worker bees are female. Busy Bee dances a dance. She waggles her bottom. She crawls in circles. Her dance shows the other workers where to find the flower nectar. Inside the hive, the bees make cells. Some are for the honey that the bees make from the nectar. Some are for the pollen that the bees have collected. And some are for the eggs that the queen bee lays. Busy bee has work to do. First, she feeds the drone bees. The drones are the boy bees, and the drones mate with the queen bee. That's their whole job. Then Busy Bee feeds the queen bee. The queen bee lays thousands of eggs every day. Inside their cells, the eggs hatch into bee grubs. See that nasty little bee grub? He looks like a, a worm. Busy Bee and thousands like her take some pollen mixed with honey and they feed it to the hungry grubs. Busy Bee has work to do. She feeds the bee grubs every day. When the grubs are nine days old, she seals their wax cells with another waxy cover. Inside their cells, magic starts to happen. The bee grubs change. They grow legs and wings. They grow long, narrow tongues. In 12 days, they change from grubs to bees. They crawl out and wait for their new wings to dry. Busy bee and thousands like her touch the young bees with their feelers. So they have feelers on their head that they use and they use them to make them feel welcome in the hive. They feed them honey from the cells. Busy Bee has work to do. The young bees are hungry. Where can she find more flower nectar? Where can she find more pollen? Look, another bee is dancing. She's found a garden full of flowers. She waggles her bottom and crawls in circles. Her dance shows Busy Bee how to find the garden. Busy Bee and thousands like her fly from the hive. They find the garden full of flowers. They drink the nectar. They take the pollen. Busy Bee has work to do. The end. All right. So how about we show everybody what a bee looks like? We're gonna we're gonna turn you into a bee. Okay. Head. <laughs> and did you know, Silas, that these legs are fuzzy? All his legs. Bees have four wings. They have these two longer wings called the fore wings, and the two smaller wings called the hind wings. How many eyes do you think a bee has, Silas? They actually have five eyes. Okay. So bees have these three little simple eyes. Those help them detect 
lights and shadow. So if they're sitting on a flower and a bird that might eat them flies overhead, they'll see that shadow and they know to hide. And then they have these two big eyes called compound eyes. And those big eyes help them to see like you use your eyes. Can you put those on yourself? The eyes? Oh, very nice. Now, on the top of their heads, these have these. What do you think these are called? Antennas. So when they're in the hive, bees use their antennas to touch their babies with, to make them feel welcome. But outside, they use them to figure out how fast they're going and what direction they're going, and to smell things. Did you know that? Excellent. Now, bees have a big, long tongue. It's like a straw. It's called a proboscis. And they use that to suck the nectar out of the flowers. Let's have some honey and bread. People honey? Pig honey! Daisy, I'm not sure your manners are very good. Thank you very much for getting off the table. Wait a minute, I need some people honey too. We're going to eat it together. Would you like your honey and bread? Told me you wanted to. Was that yummy? <laughs> oh, let's get some honey out. Oh, oh, you're going to take the plate. Oh, no! <laughs> she eat yours. Oh, there you go, Daisy. Thanks for joining me for a picnic. Do you guys like honey and bread? How many kids like honey and bread? Hi, sweetie. You're going to eat all my stuff. Bye.